take to the skies, and a good many of them will fly Southwest Airlines. Now, Southwest is the one small carrier now flying all over America and doing something unusual for an airline these days. It's making money. Much of the credit goes to Southwest's flamboyant boss. He's a little unusual for an executive. How unusual? Just watch this. Good day, Mr. Set and At Southwest Airlines, we have fun. Wait a minute. Who is this aging rap star wannabe? My name is Herbie daddy -o. You all know me, I run the show. But without your help, there'd be no love. On the ground below or in the air above. Beat the CEO for one of the nation's most successful airlines. You're on my side. Southwest has set its sights on the big boys in aviation and brought many of them to their knees. It was born in the early 70s in Dallas with some pretty wild promotions. Remember what it was like before Southwest Airlines? You didn't have hostages and hot pants. Remember? The company now stretches its wings nationwide, bringing lower fares to every market it enters. Today we have uh, Sun Chips and of course we have our Southwest Airlines peanuts. Is this dinner? Uh, this is your dinner, yes. It's low frills all the way. You pay peanuts for peanuts. But it can be a lot of fun. What other airline has a book of contests and songs for flight attendants to turn to? On behalf of Southwest Airlines, Captain Bill and all his crew, we would like to be the first to welcome you to Dallas. <laughs> is this any way to run an airline? We had to ask the boss himself. That's a 250-pound bomb casing. <laughs> it's pretty apparent this is no ordinary executive. I tapped it carefully to make sure that the inside was empty. How many other airline executives proudly display a bomb given them by their employees? And how about this office? It's not called personnel. I said, human resources? I mean, it sounds like coal or iron, you know, uh, or something like that that you mine from the earth. We're dealing with people, so let's just call it the people department and say what it is. This is a genuine Texas rebel. He has a reputation for sipping bourbon. Can I smoke? Yep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's definitely a chain smoker. Uh, I guess that's here to carry me out. <laughs> and he threatens his competitors with total destruction. If there's a fair war, they're going to get nuked. Herb Kelleher has become a folk hero, even outside his airline, for the stunts he'll pull. You actually, you arm wrestled a competitor over a logo or something? <laughs> yeah, that's right. What, what, well, what in the world was that? It was a lot of fun. It turned out to be a bigger thing than I had ever anticipated. He got in a fight with another aviation company over who should be able to use the saying, just plain smart. To settle on who owned the rights, Herb challenged the competitor to arm wrestling. It became a wild media event. Killer Herb Kellogg! Smoke in Herb Kellogg! I found out belatedly, and it shows you I didn't put enough forethought into this and didn't do enough investigation. I found out that, that Kurt doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and his hobby, believe it or not, and this is really true, is weightlifting. <laughs> Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to win. Somebody's got to lose. Yes. You lost. I lost. Yeah, I did lose. Well, the way I looked at it, I said, you know, it would be embarrassing for Kurt uh, being a weightlifter and, you know, a younger guy if I beat him, so I decided not to humiliate him. <laughs> <laughs> but pure public relations doesn't make a business succeed. Industry analysts credit the company's rock-bottom costs. Southwest flies only one model of airplane, so training and maintenance costs stay low. You carry your own baggage to other airlines for connections, and there's no seat selection. That's why some call Southwest a cattle car. Herb doesn't care. Are you the skin in the airline business? Well, I'll tell you, we've really tried to keep costs low on a regular basis so we can charge low fares. Uh, that's what we're offering the consumer. Doing everything at the lowest cost is a religion here. For Herb, the high priest, his offices are hardly extravagant. You've been profitable for 22 years in an industry where a lot of people, stockbrokers will say don't even buy stock in airlines because it's so unstable. Yes, yes, we've been very fortunate in that respect. Southwest employees work hard for their money. Southwest planes land, unload, get cleaned, and fly away in one of the shortest turnaround times in the business. They have to hustle. The Southwest formula is being used by other upstart airlines who claim even lower costs than Southwest. And he's got United Airlines trying to shoot him down. 
it started a new shuttle aimed right at Southwest. Herb claims he'll blow them out of the sky, but he's not getting too cocky. Anytime that you're uh, in a wrestling match with somebody who's seven times your size, <laughs> you're very careful about how, what you do. Still, industry analysts say as long as Southwest doesn't stray too far from its successful formula of controlling cost and staying with short-haul flights, Herb and his employees will still be flying high. One other item about Southwest I found unusual, the number of working couples. Southwest Airlines has 1,000 employees married to each other, somewhat fitting for an airline based at Love Field in Dallas. Straight ahead. Don't